Tickets for the 2023 St. Jude Dream Home will go on sale in April. The home will again be built in Republic. One of our viewers wants to know this. What percentage of winners take possession of and live in these dream homes? Hundreds of people reserved a $100 ticket for last year's home. The home valued at $680,000. St. Jude tells you up front, the taxes on the home are the responsibility of the winner. This is something that the IRS requires for prizes valued at greater than $5,000. Scott Ellis with the Children's Research Hospital tells us winners are encouraged to consult a tax professional. Many factors come into a winner's choice to move into or sell the home, which ultimately comes down to their personal preference. He adds, winning the St. Jude Dream Home Giveaway House can be life-changing for both ticket buyers and the kids of St. Jude. Attorney Catherine Moore of Kirkland Woods and Martinson tells us you must assess if you will have enough cash to pay the taxes. If not, you need to consider the ways you can generate cash. Some options include selling your current home or other assets, selling the dream home, or taking out a loan. It will be important for you to consult your CPA, financial advisor, and lawyer for specific advice about your situation. Now, St. Jude told us around 70% of the winners turn around and sell the home for a profit. The other 30% will move in. That spokesperson tells us this is the average from the last three years. So coming back to the viewer's question, what percentage of winners take possession of and live in these dream homes? You just heard it. In the last three years, it's about 30%. We do want to say this. Uh, when you win, it's an honor to win. You help children when you participate, but winning does come with those tax consequences. If you have something you want us to investigate, just email us right there, factfinders at ky3.com.